everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a chatty life update. If it wasn't like 30 degrees outside right now, I would probably have like a little cup of tea and everything, but oh my goodness, it is hot today. So apologies if you see me like melting throughout this video. I've had to close all of my windows and this room is slowly becoming a little sauna. Not ideal, it is very warm, but today I just thought I would fill you in on what I'm doing with my life now that I've finished university. I actually filmed this video a few weeks ago in advance to post last week, but when I went to edit it, it literally made no sense, so I thought I was better off just refilming it now. Also, quite a lot has changed since I filmed that video. So today I just thought I would chat about everything I'm planning on doing now that I've finished uni, all of my plans, if I'm traveling, if I'm learning to drive, all that sort of thing. So I guess it makes sense to talk about things chronologically. So if we go all the way back to a few weeks ago when I was still in Exeter, I finished my exams, I went to Italy for a week with Will, just had a really nice chill couple of weeks in Exeter, it was lovely, I wish I could have stayed longer, but I had to come home for the 18th because I actually got myself a four week internship. Now I wasn't, like, I didn't have any plans to get an internship at all, I hadn't really been looking for them, wasn't that interested, but I went on Indeed and this one came up and it was super local to me and I was like, this is great because there's not many places that are walking distance from where I live and this happened to be walking distance so I was like this would be ideal and it was paid and it was four weeks which would fit in perfectly from finishing uni and my graduation week so I applied for that, didn't really hear back for quite a while and then found out that I'd got it which was obviously really exciting and that is what I've been doing for the past four weeks if you would like to see a video all about my internship, I will film one of those because I can go into more depth of how I got it, how I had to apply, what I've been actually doing at my internship. So it's a marketing internship, so that's the kind of thing I've been doing, I've been really enjoying it so far. I've got one week left, by the time you're watching this I will have finished, just finished, but I've currently got one week left and then I've got my graduation week which is the next big thing that I have to deal with. So many things to sort out and stress about. <laughs> I'm so stressed about graduating. I had my first stress dream last night about it and how I got to the stage and I just couldn't walk like my legs wouldn't work and that's just that's the kind of thing I'm worried about at the moment. I've got my dress sorted, I got my shoes the other day which is nice and I'm definitely I'm really 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 excited for that week. I'm so excited to see all my friends again in Exeter. I've already missed them and it's only been four weeks and it's just going to be a really really fun week. I've also got grad ball that I'm going to. I'm planning on vlogging as much of that week as I can because I know it will be something that I want to look back on but that is definitely something I'm very excited for and once that's over I'm kind of terrified because <laughs> that means like I have officially left uni. I have no reason to go back to uni after that unless I do like a master's or anything like that which don't think I'm planning on doing, so that's one of my life updates. Don't think I'm going to carry on at university because I think I'm definitely done after this bachelor's degree. I can't see myself doing any more. Maybe in the future when I'm like 40, 50 I'll do something, but for the time being, not going to do anything. I think that's it for me in university. And then after graduation week until the 1st of December, for a reason I will get on to, I've got a slightly, a little bit of a blank spot, but it's kind of quickly filling up. In the first version of this video that I filmed, I was like, I'm gonna have four months where I have no idea what I'm doing and all that sort of thing, but things are starting to fall into place, which is nice. So I'm actually gonna continue my internship for another 12 weeks, but I'm gonna be doing half weeks. So I'm gonna do two and a half days a week for 12 weeks, which takes me up until mid-October, I think, which is nice. That's like really reassuring that I'm gonna have something that I can be doing. You know, I'm not completely, stressed that I'm gonna have an empty four months where I'm wasting time. I know I need to get a job because I need to save money so it was always going to be a case of me finding some sort of work but it's really nice that I can stay on at this internship and do half weeks because it gives me a little bit more time to do other things and also get another part-time job if I find one. And then in terms of those other things I'm going to be filling those other half weeks with. I am planning on learning to drive which if any of you guys actually know me in real life, I am very much terrified of driving. I have never kind of had the urge to learn, you know, when everyone turns 17 and like start lessons straight away. That was never me. I was kind of slightly traumatized by a video we were shown in school about driving. And since then I just, it's terrified me and I've not wanted to do it. I've had no kind of inkling that I would ever want to drive. But I figured because I've got this time that I'm free, 
this is like a really good opportunity for me to learn to drive. I know if I put it off much longer, it will never happen. So I figure these few months are a really good opportunity for me to do that. I found a kind of four to six week semi-intensive course, which I'm interested in because I'd quite like to just get it over and done with. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I haven't booked my first lesson yet, but they are gonna ring me at some point today for me to do that, which is just, mad very mad i'm so nervous about it if any of you guys have any like driving lesson tips let me know because i'm dreading it i mean it would be so nice to be able to drive like the bus prices here are ridiculous i paid eight quid for a return journey the other day and i'm just like not about that bus life i want to be able to take myself places and being able to drive would just make things a whole lot easier so that is how I'm going to be filling some of my time for the next few weeks. I'm going to be learning to drive hopefully and hopefully I'll pass my tests and hopefully I'll be on the streets driving a car but we will see. We will see how that all goes. I will keep you updated probably in a few vlogs. And then I mentioned before about how I've got four months until the 1st of December and that is because on the 1st of December I am going travelling for three months which I am very excited about. And I know I overuse the word excited. I have been told that before in comments and by like my friends and family. I can't think of a better adjective. I'm very excited to go traveling. I'm going to New Zealand, Australia and Bali. So I'm actually going with my sisters and my mum. So we are doing New Zealand for five weeks all together. And then me and one of my sisters are doing Australia and Bali for seven weeks. And I just can't wait, I can't believe it. Like, I've been thinking about this trip for a few years now because my sisters, I've got two older sisters and they both currently live in New Zealand. And when my elder sister was planning and going out to New Zealand, this was a few years ago. And I remember working out like, oh, I would have graduated that summer. I can come out and visit. And now like, that's happening. <laughs> Everything like, time has flown by and it's almost at that time. And I'm gonna be going to New Zealand and I just can't wait. I am so excited about it. I just, I think it's gonna be the best holiday I've ever, I probably ever will go on. It's just so exciting. We've booked to do some really, really fun things. So I'm planning on vlogging that all as well. I just, the next four months can't go quick enough. I just wanna get out there and be in the sun and like going to the beaches and it's just beautiful and they have amazing vegan food and it all just looks incredible. So I'm definitely looking forward to that a lot. And then once I get back from that little trip, it will be March. And from March onwards, I have zero life plans, which is a little bit daunting. I think most people expect to come out of uni and go straight into like a grad job or straight into a master's or straight into something. But I've always kind of seen this year, like the first year after I graduate as a sort of gap year for me, because I always wanted a gap year and it didn't happen. And I've got quite like a late birthday. My birthday is not till the end of August. So I just feel very young to be going into like my life job and career at 20. So I've taken this whole year just to kind of do what I want to do a little bit. So I haven't made any concrete plans for when I'm back in March. I reckon I will probably start looking for sort of career jobs at that point. I'm really enjoying this internship with the whole marketing thing. So I think I'm going to be going down that route and looking for a marketing job, maybe in the charity sector or something along those lines. So I think that is kind of all of my plans for life after uni that I have so far. I will keep you updated with any more when I get them. But I also quickly wanted to add to the end of this video stuff about this channel and kind of plans for this channel after uni because for the most part, this channel is a university channel. And I know that a lot of you guys watching watch for the university videos, which is quite tricky now that I'm graduating and there's a limited number of university videos I can still make. Obviously I can still make some, I can make ones from sort of an outside perspective on my experience and I can answer questions and do advice and all that sort of thing. So if you have any specific questions or advice or specific university video ideas you wanna see from me, definitely let me know in a comment. But other than that, I'm not really sure where this channel is gonna go necessarily. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I, I really wanna start vlogging more. If I have something interesting that I'm doing, I definitely wanna start vlogging more. I really want to get a vlog camera so I can do that a lot more easy because I'm currently using my phone and it's not the best and also when I go traveling I obviously want to vlog a lot of that so it would be nice to kind of build up to that a little bit so I'm not just kind of thrown in and like vlogging every day and I've not been vlogging at all for like four months so I think I'm going to do a lot more vlogs and that sort of thing maybe a few more sort of food videos because food is something that I love and one of my passions <laughs> 
so I want to probably make a few more of them but definitely if you have any ideas and requests from me please let me know whatever that may be I will be interested in giving it a go because I definitely want to create content that you guys want to see and I know that if you guys only want to see like uni vlogs that's going to be a little bit of an issue <laughs> because I'm no longer at uni so any requests please let me know and I'll be happy to do them but other than that I think that is my whole life update what I'm doing after uni all those plans I think that covers everything I hope this has been a little bit interesting for any of you guys that were curious with what I was doing if you guys are graduating at university this year let me know what your plans are for once you've graduated because I would find that really interesting and if you guys aren't graduating or you've graduated or whatever let me know some of your summer plans because I'm always curious so definitely leave them in a the comment down below as well and I think that is everything so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye